I remember a very dear friend of mine, a phenomenal yoga teacher, once told me that the magic of yoga lies in the things you cannot see. And the same takes place in the realm of body work, with time massage, the gestures, the poses. You might see something that you find fancy, elaborate, advanced. And very, very often people look at it and find it kind of sensual or sexual. More often than not, this is just a projection from the observer, because really what we're looking at is just the shape, the form, the container. What is it that the container is holding? What is the content? And the content in the field of Thai massage, in a portion of Thai massage, we really need to pay attention to the elemental qualities, the intention, the incantations, mm -hmm. all the things that you cannot see. And that's exactly where the magic lies. Well, originally I came to Thailand to learn Thai massage, which is still something that I'm doing this day. But it has expanded into learning more about the system where Thai massage comes from, which is traditional Thai medicine. Thai massage to me is an expression of love. On a personal level, that's what I believe in, what I feel that Thai massage is. On a larger, broader concept, Thai massage is a part of the larger system of traditional Thai medicine. So it's part of a living tradition that has been around for a long time. The traditional Thai medicine has five different roots. First root is uh, internal medicine, and this is the use of animal, plant, and mineral material to create medicine concoctions that you take mostly internally. Mm -hmm. The second root is external medicine or orthopedic sciences, and this is where we have Thai massage, the use of medicated oils, balms, liniments herbal compresses, uh, toxin, all sorts of modalities that are applied externally. Mm -hmm. Then the third route is divinatory sciences. And this is the use of palmistry, astrology, numerology as ways of understanding tendencies towards imbalance. Mm -hmm. The fourth route is magic practices or spirit medicine, you could say. And this is where we use mantras, yantras, incantations, uh, sakyant, the magic tattoo. And the fifth root is Buddhist medicine. Using Buddhist practices, Buddhist concepts as ways of eradicating suffering. What weaves all of these five roots of traditional Thai medicine together is the understanding or the use of Thai element theory. We look at these elements as experiences. So the earth is basically the experience of solidity. Water is basically the experience of liquidity. Fire is the experience of heat and transformation. Wind is the experience of movement. And space, well, that's the experience of spaciousness, unobstructedness, or non-resistance. So the use of elemental theory helps us again understand the individual process. What makes you absolutely unique? What makes me a unique individual? Understanding strengths and weaknesses. So if someone comes for a session, I will be assessing the qualities noticeable in their speech, in their mannerism, in their body language, in, uh, in their tissue, in their mobility, in their flexibility. And uh, through those qualities, assessing which element seems to be out of balance, which set of qualities seem to be in abundance to the point that they are creating an imbalance. And then by determining and diagnosing the element that is out of balance, 
we can then determine which elements with opposing qualities could contribute, support and help this individual to move back into a state of balance and harmony.